All right, hey, Hades Omega here, and so uh, welcome to another episode of the Hades Omega Solar Powered Garage Project. All right, and uh, and yeah, I just I think I'm just about done with uh, at least what I'm gonna do this year. <laughs> I, I don't know what other stuff we're gonna be doing to the system, but uh, but yeah, I'm still I still haven't got it online, and what I need to do is I need to make an extension cable. All right, extension cord for the the black wire. All right, I ran out of black wire. 25 feet wasn't enough so we got to make it longer so what I could do is go up there and solder on another wire and then solder the the MC4 connector on again or uh, or I could make an extension cable all right so basically it's just another cable with a one male and one female end and then the since this is the black wire the black wire terminates to a um, what is it the, the female all right and so so the male will connect to the female and the other end will be another female end, all right? And then, and then you plug that into, I'll plug that into the other extension cord up there, all right? And then that should get me um, connected to the solar panel, all right? That's the plan. Okay, so, um, so this is gonna kind of be like a two for one video. We're gonna make this cable, all right? I've already got the cable. I already figured out how much I need to cut, all right? I need to cut around like 10 feet is what I needed. So I, I measured 11 feet. And I cut it, all right? And I found a bag full of uh, eight gauge wire in my uh, in my shed, all right? I, I used to make a collects wiring sometimes for projects and stuff. And I have this crate just full of freaking wires, like automotive wires. Um, this is like household type wire, you know, electrical wire. Um, so I think this will be fine. Um, reason being, I think it'll be fine is uh, this is 8 gauge and the wire that we're using up there right now is 8 gauge okay that's good for up to 50 amps that solar panel ain't gonna see more than like 10 amps coming out of it all right <laughs> um, so um, and then uh, and then the wiring coming out of the solar panel is like 12 gauge all right so we got 8 gauge and 12 gauge somewhere anywhere around there would be fi perfectly fine to use all right so I have this lying. I have a lot of this lying around. So I said, "Hey, let's just use this." All right, it's an eight gauge, so so that should be perfectly fine. Okay. Um, and then uh, we're going to be using the Bouge RV uh, MC4 or solar wire crimping kit. All right, we'll take a look at uh, see what we got in here, and then we'll we'll terminate this. All right, basically. Okay, so I've already got the wire all cut out and everything, 11 feet. All right, and we just need to put ends on it now. Okay. This wire is kind of a bitch to work with. It's still braided, but it's like, it's really, really stiff. Stiff stuff, man. <laughs> so it can carry a lot of current through it. Okay, so let's go take a look at the kit, and then uh, and then we'll go uh, terminate these, all right? This is my first time, this is my first time using this kit. I bought this last year, I thinking I might need to use it, and then I wound up just using the connectors that were on there. The wiring wound up being like the perfect length where I didn't need to add any more wire or or do anything with the cable okay so no uh, I wound up not having any extra okay but this time uh, we ran out of wire actually <laughs> we had plenty of we had enough red but we didn't have enough okay black. so yeah let's take a look at this uh, this you can purchase these for $32 on Amazon I'll put a link in the description where I purchased it all right say bouge RV um, solar solar cable crimping kit Okay. Okay, here we are. These time. All right, time to look at the uh, the Bouge RV solar solar cable crimping kit. All right. So what does it come with? It comes with this nice case. All right. And there it is. Okay. So it comes with the tools. I have. I already bought some already. The I highly recommend you buy the metal ones, but this comes with some plastic ones. All right. Um, it comes with two of them, okay, there's one here, and one here, so we'll be using this. Okay, and I, I would suggest if you had some, some MC4 connectors lying around, just leave it in there and you can use this as like a, a reference, alright, that's, so that's what we're going to use these for, alright. And you can also practice installing, this one is broken, so, but you can practice installing them, okay. You use this tool. So this this tool has a forked end to it. I guess it's got one right here too. I guess you can. Oh, that's cool. My other one doesn't have that. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Works pretty good. 
Uh, so I think you could use either end. I think they got different length, different sizes too, because I think different. Uh, uh, it's good to have a lot of these different um, tools to MC4 tools, because um, I heard, some of them are like they're all different. All right, I, I've encountered like all sorts of different MC4 connectors. All right, and each manufacturer has you know they're all different. So I say, and so it's good to have different ones. Like I say, you know, you might run into different ones, and you want the right tool. Okay, and then if you've got a crimper, all right, let's take this out. Okay, it says Bouge RV on it. Pretty nice. Okay. It's a LY Lima Yankee 24, a uh, 2546 Bravo. All right, and I, I think we're just, I'm not really sure which one we're going to use, but Hayes Megas I've actually never used one of these crimpers before. I use the cheap ones. <laughs> All right, now the one not non ratcheting ones. This is very nice actually. Okay. Um, and then there's a M, there there's a one two three four five six pairs of MC4 connectors. Okay, so we're gonna take one out. All right, and I will show you what one consists of, and then we'll go make our extension cord. Right, these are great to have. It's great to have like extra MC4s around because you never know they break. Like this one broke. This one, uh, the little, um, the little clip thing, it broke on me. Okay. Now you never know. Like you might need spare parts or whatever, or it might come apart. Okay, so you, here you've got one of the female end. Uh, this is the female end, and this is the male end. All right, they, they come together like that. All right. The back unscrews. All right, and then you've got the kind of. You've got the seal, the rubber seal, and then this kind of kind of accordion-looking thing here. Okay, um, these are actually a little bit different than. Uh... Oh no! Okay, okay, these have these have there's so there's a little there's a little metal connector in there where you where it will make a ne a connection. It'll the um, the pin will actually connect to that. Okay. Okay, so that's that. That's that's the female. Oh, that's the male. And this is the female side, okay? And they're different sizes, guys. You'll kind of have to figure out which size goes where. Okay, so try to kind of keep them together. Uh, and then you've got the pins. Okay, so that's what that's what one whole MC4 connector consists of. And I believe I believe the female, the male is the small one. No, the male's the big one. Yeah, so that's why I said it's good to have one for reference, alright? So the the um the female is the smaller one, alright? And then the male is the bigger one. Okay? So they're like kind of opposites, right? Um yeah. Okay, one is a, one's an innie, one's an outie, but then the insides are inverse, okay? <laughs> so, it's kind of weird, right? But I, I'm pretty sure that's the way they made it, you know, so you can't, like, accidentally put them in the wrong one. But then that's basically how it works, you know, these two are going to connect like that. They make a connection. Okay. Uh, one thing that this doesn't have are strippers. Yeah, I don't think this tool has any kind of stripper on it, so... We're gonna need to strip the wire, all right? So that's the first thing. Hayes Vega is gonna do a little bit, a little bit extra. Um, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna solder it on, okay? I'm, I'm gonna crimp it and I'm gonna solder it to make sure there's a good connection, okay? My first one, I want to make sure it's really good. <laughs> all right. Okay, so this is not my first time. Uh, this is not my first rodeo with uh, the MC4 connectors. All right, I've been already kind of been working with them. I have these linesman pliers we're gonna use. Um, I've already kind of been working with them. I've just never made a like cable from like a regular, just another, like just from another wire. Okay, so I kind of do know what I'm doing. So the important thing is that we have to terminate these. All right. So one side is going to have, one side is going to have this side, and then the other side is going to have the other side. It doesn't really matter. Okay. So just uh, what I would do is strip this enough to get the wire over the the wire part. Okay. The the metal. The metal inside the wire, all right? The, the jacket, all right? The, the wire inside the jacket, all right? We need to strip the jacket off. Okay, and what I'm going to use that is for is use the linesman's, linesman pliers. Just kind of go go off of this as a, uh, a reference how much you need to strip it. So mm, somewhere around here, all right? I'm going to mark that with my fingernail. 
so I know where. And then I'm going to strip it. Okay, and the way you do these big wires, the way Hades Omega does these big wires, is just I just kind of use the cutter to strip the jacket. Okay, and then you pull it. That. Okay. There you go. Now what we're going to do, right, put that on there, and then the next thing you're going to do is bust out the crimper. So I think, and I honestly don't, I don't, honestly I don't really know how to use these crimpers. Um, there's, there's two ways, you can put it in, there's a little W, okay, <laughs> there's a W part and then there's like a, a kind of half circle part, right, I think the open part, all right, open part goes towards the W okay so let's try that it's not there's there's seriously there's not a lot of room I don't know which size we're supposed to use too okay I'm gonna go crimp this bad boy Make sure it's pushed all the way in. And off we go. Okay. Oh, it's stuck. Hope we didn't mess it up. Oh, there you go. Yeah, worked pretty good. Nice. Okay, there's one. That did a great job. <laughs> um, that's my first time using like one of these crimpers all right like i use the cheap ones that don't have the the ratcheting feature and this is way nicer all right okay so i'm just going to do the same thing for this one with the other the other connector in okay yeah one thing this kit should come with are strippers man this doesn't come with any strippers so i'm going to use this to give us a reference how how big the wire how much we should how much of the jacket we need to strip off all right that much right there okay get the line some pliers okay spin it around the jacket try not to put too much force into it or else you'll cut the wire too that's what we don't want okay and remember Hayes Meg is not a professional electrician okay so yeah there's also a little tooth thing down here there you go and if you kind of mess up the, these are these are wound like a certain way. If you kind of mess up the the windings, just spin it around. Okay. All right. Okay. We're gonna put the. What is this the? This is the uh, kind of male connector. It's the male on the female connector, all right? <laughs> all right, and we're gonna insert it in there. I don't know if we're supposed to be using the biggest one, but I think we should. Okay, make sure it's in all the way. Crip it. Oh, wow a lot of force it puts on there okay it gets stuck but we got it okay good job okay like i said hayes meg is going to do a little extra work i'm going to solder these all right okay what i'm going to do is just add a little bit of solder to it just to give it a little more strength and a better a better connection all right you don't you don't need to do this but i i'm i this is what i like to do right and these get pulled off sometimes if you if you pull it out the connector if you ever take it apart again it may come apart so this will prevent it from doing coming apart all right so i'm going to solder this on here don't put too much solder or else it won't fit in the connector properly
kick just a little bit on the top. Okay. There's one. Flip it over. And this this wire can handle a lot of heat, so it just soaks it up like a like a sponge. So this is not like an ideal uh, wire to be soldering. <laughs> but well, you know the 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 Ot Zero wire um, or the One Ot wire is uh, is even worse. <laughs> so I say okay. Okay, that should be good enough. Okay, there's a close-up of my handiwork. Alright, just a little bit of solder on the top. Nothing too crazy. Okay, there's the other end. Okay. Alright, let's go assemble this. Okay, we're going to go ahead and assemble our uh, MC4 connectors. Alright, the... Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is... I think they're interchangeable. You can do it any way you want, all right? But you got to put this in first, okay? So now it's just the, the easy part, all right? We're going to put this in first, and then we're going to put this in next. Oh, shit, I don't remember how it was. <laughs> Let's see, that's why it's good to have an extra lying around, all right? So you know what they look like. Okay, yeah, it's supposed to go like this, all right, guys. Okay, put the connector in. I put the put the rubber and the uh, the plastic that goes over the rubber in. All right, and then uh, so this is the bigger. This is the female, all right. No, no, no. Yeah, this is the male. Okay, so the male has the bigger one. All right, the one, the one, the female. It's the, it's the male, but it's the female, and it's it, like I said, it's the opposite. The inside is the, the inside is the, the female, but the outside is the male. All right, so we want to get the male in. All right, and then so you're gonna you're gonna shove this in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just make sure if you get if you if you get mixed up. That's why it's good to have that extra, that one that's already made in there, okay? Just look at one, all right? But anyway, so there's a connector in there, all right? Like I showed you that metal connector. You're going to push this on there, and it'll it'll just click in, all right? All right, there you go. There you go. See, he heard it click. So that means that's good to go. And then we're going to put the, um, the seal in there somehow. Yeah. Yeah. So just get the seal in there. <laughs> okay. And then screw it in. Be careful not to damage these clips right here. They're really easy to damage. All right. I'm going to tighten it by hand and then see if it's like it's seating properly. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Okay, and that makes it pretty much waterproof from like here on out, all right? 
and then there's another seal out here that makes it waterproof okay and then uh, you're gonna get your so since these came with the kit I'm pretty sure that these will work with these MC4 connectors all right so you're gonna put this one over this end right here okay and then you're gonna use this end right here okay and then you're gonna tighten it just tighten it until it bottoms out oh slipped make sure it's in there good so it doesn't slip like that okay that looks good maybe it's supposed to do that I'm not sure <laughs> that's why the metal ones are better all right but maybe you could break it if you tighten it too much okay so there you go there's our um, there's our male end all right so let's go get the other one out put this someplace safe this is the one that's that's more fragile I want to say the, the male you know we're gonna go work on the female all right the female that's the inside is the male okay that's how you how you remember okay same deal put the back in okay and then you're gonna put I can I forget all the time you're gonna put the plastic part in the back and the rubber or the yeah the ceiling part on the front okay then you're gonna you're gonna push this in till it connects there we go try to straighten it out if you can center it as best as you can I'm pretty sure once you start tightening this it'll just center it automatically okay there we go sometimes it doesn't want to go in straight so. okay try to push it in as far as you can to make sure it lines up and then we're going to use this to drive it in the rest of the way until I can do it. Okay, I'm going to undo it just to make sure it went in there straight. I think that's good. Okay, now we're going to get our tool. That, make sure it's all the way back there okay and you want to just tighten it till it bottoms out till it clicks like that I guess <laughs> till it slips all right there you go so this one actually went together smoother than the other one all right there you go and then um, yeah and then you could test it out uh, yeah yeah so that's what I would do I would test it out first so we're gonna I'm gonna put my multimeter to measure resistance right and then we're gonna connect these two okay and there we go we got 0 .000, 000 ohms okay that means there's a connection all right, and then you would just make sure that these connect fine. Pretty sure we did it right. Uh oh, it's not going in straight. Hold on. Yeah, so it's kind of crooked in there. If you look in there, it's kind of pointing that way. I think I messed it up, but. That's why that's why it's good to test it out before you. Right, we might have to do this again. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's okay. Practice makes perfect, right? So I'm gonna to try to align, center this as much as possible. Okay. Hopefully it'll go in there. There we go. Okay. So. Okay, it went in just fine. Hopefully the connection is good. All right, and then if you want to take it out. Use the tool. Well, yeah, wait, okay. So, yeah, make sure you get, it stays locked, right? Okay. And we're going to use the tool to unlock it. Pull it up. Okay, there you go. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. So, what we did is we made this extension cord wire, all right? One has a female end, female end, 
and one has a male end, all right? And we tested to make sure they connect fine. All right, just make sure, yeah, I, this is not a, probably the ideal cable to use for solar solar power stuff because it's not it doesn't bend very easily as we'll say all right but there it is i'm gonna wrap it all up so be careful with the with the mail in all right guys because you could break the, the clips on it all right and then we use the bouge rv uh mc4 crimping kit to do this all right that and we use the um, i use a soldering iron and uh, some linesman pliers to strip the jacket, okay, so that helps. Okay, and then uh, like I said, it helps to have, uh, it definitely helps to have a, another, if you've got some MC4s lying around, keep them around so you can, um, you can use them as a reference, all right? You just look at it, oh, oh yeah, I was just use a smaller end in this one, okay? I mean, I, I'm pretty sure they made them pretty dummy proof, but yeah, man, it's just, you know, type of thing it's I had I had these just lying around so I'm gonna keep this in there to use them as a reference okay okay uh, you can buy that kit from uh, Amazon for $32 I'll put a link in the description of the video if you'd like to get one um, that's the first time I've used it and I, I'm happy that I bought it. It, it I actually used it this time so <laughs> and I got extra MC4 connectors just in case they break you know sometimes they do there you go okay thanks for watching here's my out